Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can rename pages in .NET Nuke and some things that you need to keep in mind when you're doing so. So we'll go ahead and we'll show you how you can rename pages in .NET Nuke. And we'll, we'll focus on two primary methods. And as we go through the, the renaming process, we'll talk about SEO or search engine optimization considerations as well as 404 or error page considerations when you're renaming a page. So here we have a, a .NET Nuke instance that's running. It's a, a local instance. And you can see we have a couple of different pages that have been created here in this particular instance. So we have a page here called Simple Article. Now if I go ahead and bookmark that, when we try to click on that bookmark, it's going to take us to that particular page. But if we go through and we rename that page, that bookmark is no longer going to work. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate how we can rename that page. So within .NET Nuke, if you're using the ribbon bar control panel, if you go to the current page tab, right in the middle of that current page tab is a section, update current page. And here we have a name option. So I can change the name of the page right here within the control panel. And I can call it articles. If I go ahead and click on update page, it's going to make that change. And you'll notice immediately that the menu changes. It now says articles. The URL of the page that we're on says articles. Now if I try to navigate to the bookmark in Internet Explorer, and I go ahead and click on that, I'm going to get a 404 error. And you can see it's trying to navigate to simplearticle.aspx, but because we renamed that page, that page no longer exists. So it's something you need to keep in mind when you're renaming or moving pages in .NET Nuke. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename this page back to the original name. And I'm going to do so in a different manner. Instead of using the control panel, I'm going to click on the edit option, which will allow me to edit the settings for the current page. In here, I can come in and change the name as well. So within the page settings, I'm just going to change it back to simple article, which is what it was to begin with. And then go ahead and click on update. Our page has once again been renamed. It shows up in the navigation again as simple article. And then if we click on the favorite or the, the bookmark in Internet Explorer, it will also take us to that same page. So we're back to kind of where we started. But let's say we actually want to rename the page. And we want to make sure any existing links to the old page work as well. We can do that, but we need to actually, when we rename the page, we also need to create a new page. So let's start by renaming the page again. I'm going to rename this one back to Articles. We're going to call this page articles. That's what will show up in the navigation. But now what we want to do is we actually want to create a new page as well. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose the new option within the control panel to create a new page. Now I'm going to create a page called simple article, the same name as our original page. I'm not going to worry about the title, the descriptions or the keywords. I really don't need to worry about where it goes in the menu except that I want it to be at the same level that it was initially. So for us, we're not going to choose a parent page. We want it to be a top level menu item. We also want to make sure that it does not display in the menu. So I don't want it to show up in the menu, but what I want to do is I want to create a page that will still work when you go to simplearticle.aspx. And what I'm actually going to do with this page is I'm going to make it visible to all users, meaning anyone can see it. Like I said, it's not going to be in the menu, so they won't be able to navigate to it in the menu. And then at the bottom of the page, we're going to go into the Advanced Settings section. At the bottom of the Advanced Settings section is a Link URL option. And what we're actually going to do with this new page called Simple Articles, we're going to point to an existing page, and we're going to point to that Articles page. We're also going to choose the Permanently Redirect option. And if we go ahead and click on update, essentially what we've just done is we've created a page called Simple Article. If anyone navigates to that page, they automatically get redirected to the Articles page. And we can prove that by going into our favorite or our bookmark within Internet Explorer and clicking on that. If I click on that bookmark, it takes me directly to the Articles page. If I come in the URL and I type in Simple Article, .aspx. 
.NET Nuke automatically sends me to the articles page. So we did two steps there. We renamed the first page. Then we created a second page and pointed that second page to the page we wanted to redirect to. So we, we still have, if we go in the admin menu, two pages. We're going to have a simple article page and an articles page. Obviously, the simple article page doesn't show up in the menu anywhere, but anyone who had that page bookmarked, anyone who happened to hyperlink to that page at one point in time, all of those links will still work because we're now redirecting those to the new articles page. So that's why we went in and we, we created a new page. We made it use the URL method pointing to the articles page and we set up a permanent redirect on it. Now that permanent redirect option basically tells search engines or spiders that are navigating through your site that the old, the simple article page should now, when any, ever anyone tries to point to that, you should, you should point to the articles page. So we've, we basically said to the search engines, forget this URL, here's our new URL, point to articles by default. So that will allow them to update their search results to no longer point to the old page and now point to the new page. So up to this point, we've just dealt with kind of renaming a page that exists within one level of our navigation. If you want to move a page around in your navigation, changing the level of the hierarchy, you would also need to go through the same steps there. You need to create a new page at the original level, the original location, and have that new page redirect to the page that you've moved around. So that's just something to keep in mind as you go through and you make changes to your .NET Nuke navigation. It's very easy to rename pages, but you should be careful when you do so. So I'd encourage you to check out some more of our free videos. You can find those on our .NET Nuke training page and in the video library on .NET Nuke.com. You can also find information about our instructor-led training and our custom on-site and online training options. Again, this was Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.